Good morning everyone, it's Julia from Birdwatcher Supply Company and I'm here today to answer a question. Um, in our stores this time of year and on all the forums on the internet with birds, um, we're getting a very common question so I thought it was time to address this. Um, everyone is asking, where are my hummingbirds? And it's usually followed up with, I had a bunch this time last year and now I don't. So truthfully, the answer to that question is no you didn't. I know no one wants to hear that. Um, as soon as it gets really hot, it seems like everyone starts to remember earlier um, than when they actually had a lot of hummingbird activity last year. Let me give you just a brief rundown of the timeline of hummingbirds. And you know, for some of us, we had a lot of activity this spring and maybe it really seems slow now. I know for me, that's very true. I had a ton of birds in April, which I usually don't. So ruby-throated hummingbirds begin to arrive in our area, the metro Atlanta area, in late March and early April. And so all these birds that are passing through in April and that flurry of migration activity is really just that. It's just birds on migration. A lot of these birds are only passing through. They're not going to stay here. They're fanning out all the way up into Canada. So there's a flurry of activity. They're hitting feeders hard because they're, they're still on the move. They still need that energy and the, the quick sugar buzz they get from our feeders our nectar feeders and and they're moving on so by the end of April and into early May your birds the migration is pretty much over the birds that you still have are breeding birds so that's going to be less for most of us don't have great hummingbird breeding habitat these birds also establish territories so you're not going to have dozens of birds that are establishing territories in your yard unless you live in a very rural area and have lots and lots of property um, Males and females actually keep separate territories and females are single moms, hummingbird females are single moms. So they're very busy right now with nesting. They're, she's got to build her nest, she finds a male that's suitable, they mate, she lays her eggs, she raises her chicks. And um, baby hummingbirds are actually in the nest quite a bit longer than most other birds. Um, two weeks is pretty typical for your songbirds, but uh, ruby-throated hummingbirds are in the nest for 20 some odd days. So May, and June are really breeding time. It's establishing territories, building nests, um, laying eggs, raising young. So what we start to see now, late, well, it's only mid-June, but uh, you know, late June, early July, is really when the first of the babies are going to be coming off the nest and be freely moving around. So in July, we start to see more activity at our feeders because you've got young birds off the nest. Uh, females here in Georgia anyway will a lot of times begin a second clutch um, but a lot of times males are ready to go so in July we start to see more activity at feeders because you've got the first batch of youngsters and you also have males who are starting to fatten up because it's time for them to move so as we get further into July late July that more babies are off the nest it's time for the females now to think about leaving and everybody's hitting feeders hard again because once again for that migration and they've got to put on all that fat and all that weight feeders are a great source of lots of sugar water lots of nectar so they do hit our feeders harder plus there's just more hummingbirds because you've had a breeding season you've had all these young there's just more birds so really, you're always going to have more feeder activity in late July, in August, and in, even into September. And that'll start to taper off into October. But we do have ruby throat still in the area coming through is into late October. So do this exercise. I promise you will be amazed. Write down right now. I know people are saying, they're watching this video going, I had more hummingbirds this time last year. I know. Write it on your calendar. Get a calendar a notebook and write down you know here it is it's mid-july i have very little hummingbird activity and then make a note of when that starts to pick up later in the summer okay this week i had more and this week i had more look at that next summer it will amaze you because the timeline that these birds keep is just incredible it will vary very little from year to year when you really start to have this flurry of lots of hummingbird activity and yes it will vary a little but not by weeks or months so um these birds keep a very strict little timetable. They are amazing creatures. Um, and so don't worry if you don't have a lot of birds right now. That is perfectly normal. I promise. You, uh, sorry, somebody's calling me. Um, you will be amazed if you just make a note of when you really are seeing a lot of activity at your feeders. So um, enjoy your hummingbirds. Don't panic. Don't worry. You haven't done anything wrong. Keep your 
feeder's cleaned out, your nectar clean twice a week. It's gotten hot, so at least twice a week, change that nectar out and clean your feeders really good, whether you're seeing birds or not, because chances are you do have some birds. You might just not be seeing, you know, you can't watch your feeders 12 hours a day. So um, do that, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. We'll answer, and um, y'all have a great day.